Hi, my name is Julie and I'm one of the research coaches here at the Fishman Library at Walter State. Today I'm going to talk to you about using the oppo Opposing Viewpoints and Context database. A college database is a digitally organized collection of journals, magazines, videos, media, or documents. This is put together by a librarian or an information specialist specifically for students in college. We use databases in college research because they provide access to more reliable information than the internet. To get to the Opposing Viewpoints database, you're going to go to the library homepage and you'll click on the A to Z database link. From there, you're going to find the All Subjects, drop it down to the English subject, and you'll find Opposing Viewpoints. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to the Advanced Search. Now, since I'm doing my uh, paper on the legalization of pot, I'm just going to type in pot. So I see that I do get some things on marijuana, but I also get some things on uh, Cambodia. This is a great example of why you need to use academic language. The database thinks I'm searching for Pol Pot, who is a dictator of Cambodia in the late, in the late um, 70s and 80s. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to search for marijuana. To make my search even more effective uh, than just searching broadly for marijuana, I'm also going to add legalization. So I need to change this to keyword. You see here I have marijuana and legalization. By using the word and, I'm using a Boolean operator. You see here that by using the word and, the results must include both marijuana and legalization. There are other Boolean operators. You have the Boolean operator OR. So if you use an OR, it will, it, the results will include either one of the options. This makes for a larger number of results. So to expand your options, you would put OR between them. You can also use the Boolean operator NOT, and this is an example right here of that, sweet, not sour. So these results, um, will contain only the word sweet and they will omit any of the results that contain the word sour. A lot of times we use the word not to eliminate confusing results. So for example, back at our example on, uh, on the legalization of marijuana, if I were to put in here pot not Cambodia, it would eliminate uh, those uh, false uh, positives of, of getting uh, information on Pol Pot, the dictator. So I put in marijuana and legalization and I'm going to hit search. So I have a lot of results. It says I have 138 viewpoints. These are um, essays that give a stance on a point. Uh, I have academic journals. These have been written mostly by professors for students and scholars. Uh, you can see here we have a law review. I also have statistics, which are going to give me some numbers. I have some NPR, which is National Public Radio, some audio that also um, is is written out to be able to read it. And then I have some news, images, and videos. So I'm going to focus up here on my viewpoints. I'm going to click in there to find something that I can use. So some of the first things I see, medical marijuana should be legalized. I always want to look right here at my dates. I have 2006. If I skip this one and look here, I have the same article written in 2015 and then again the same one written in 2003. For this particular topic and most topics, I want to uh, think about currency or which ones are the most current. So I'm going to go with the one that was written in 2015. Okay, I'm going to look through my article and make sure it's relevant or useful to my topic. If I like this article, I want to make sure to uh, save it. And I'm going to save it by downloading it. And then you can choose a cloud or you can put it in PDF, put it on your desktop. I definitely suggest saving it. You can also email it to yourself. You can find the citation uh, for this by clicking uh, the citation tool and make sure it's on 8th edition. Also, you would copy and paste this into your document. Please double check this and make sure that this is correct. If you need any assistance, please give us a call.